Hey, Jim here from K2 Concepts shooting the video on uh, the new line of spray guns that Andrew over at Emerald Coatings is carrying. This is the 1.5. Um, we were thinking we may not shoot a video, but uh, a chance came up for us to, uh, to lay down some, some water base because he sent the 1.5. Um, you guys that are interested in these guns, you can probably shoot with a 1.3 or a 1.5. Either way, usually I, I prefer a 1.4 or 1.5 on water-based paints. I know Andrew was carrying the Aqualac series, Aqualac series 35. It's a good paint. Uh, we've used it every day for 10 years. We continue to use it um, in our line, in our production facility here. So um, it's good. It's well behaved. It's a, it's a real nice paint. Uh, pretty good color palette, good selection, so Andrew's going to be starting to carry that. I think he's already got it in, probably by the time we shoot this video. Uh, he'll probably be moving it out uh, to you guys that are interested in it. So anyhow, this is a 1.5 gun. Now this gun, well, real quick, a little chrono for the haters. Okay, this is a 1.5. Um, these things throw a mean amount of paint, so if you're new to painting, you may want to think about a 1-3. Uh, this, this thing just throws out a ferocious amount of paint. You can kind of see by you're setting up the pattern. Uh, but by the time you get a decent sized fan, this needle is going to be backed out almost uh, like you were setting up an activator gun. So that means it's going to throw a lot of material. The fan seems to suffer a little bit once you start backing off the material knob. You, you have to start messing around with your fan knob a little more. It's, gets real finicky. So my suggestion to you guys, if you're going to buy the 1.5, is set it up the same way you set up your activator guns, just full throttle. Uh, this thing just throws a mean amount of paint. It's a lot. So if you're not careful, you're going to load up your project or you're going to get some runs. So I definitely recommend you take that into consideration. But it's still a real nice gun. Uh, all the aspects of the 1.3, except for it's in a 1.5 configuration. So we're shooting today. Uh, Aqualock Series 35, it's the K2 Shelby Silver, uh, we're going to be shooting it at 30 pounds, 30 pounds PSI, that's what they recommend, and uh, I'm going to kick on the fan, paint this real quick, and show you kind of what it does, hold on a second. Again, the 1.5 series paint gun. Uh, if you're going to throw a PPS adapter on, it takes a number 15. Uh, good gun, good gun. So uh, that's it for this one. I'll be shooting the video on the first giveaway a little bit later on. Details will be there. Join us on the forum, k2forums.com. You can email me, k2forums at gmail.com. And if you uh, need any of the K2 brew or the super brew and you're here in the United States, you can get it on k2shoponline.com. Um, if you Want the same activators, hydrovator, if you're up in Canada, visit Andrew over at Emerald Coatings. 
Okay, and that's it for this one. I hope you guys are having a good day dipping. We'll talk to you later.